What's up everybody? Welcome back to another edition of The Dig, a series dedicated to helping you improve profitability on your farm. Today, we are in Bloomington, Illinois, and we know that we've shown you guys some of the data in the past and the results from our ground versus plane versus drone studies, but today is all about showing you the behind the scenes of what goes into... Hey, why don't you come over here real quick? This works out, actually. If you're gonna be loud, you might as well just come join us. Yeah. So Clayton here is going to help us understand what goes behind the scenes of pulling this study off. But before we dive into that, I'm Aaron, that's Colin. I'm Clayton. Let's, Let's dig in. in! All right, Clayton, so why don't you just give us some details about this study, right? I mean, there's a lot to it. Well, first things first, we have one to do, so how about you help me get the drone out of the trailer? Yeah, Aaron, why don't you help him get the drone out of the trailer? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. I, I, I can help a friend out. Yeah, you stay here. All right. All right, Clayton, well, we got the drone out. It's all set up. Why don't you tell them a little bit about the history and him and I will go get some of your fungicide ready. Please do. Yeah. All right. This trial started back in roughly 2022. I was challenged with putting on back then an airplane versus a ground machine trial. Any aircraft trials that I have seen previously were always done block style. So 40 acres of a field was maybe a ground machine and the other was either untreated control or an airplane. And I wanted to make them just like our PFR trials to where they were replicated strips of airplane or helicopter, ground machine, untreated control. And then a couple years down the road, the drone came into the picture, we made that happen. So in the field, that first year was tough, really trying to learn. I worked with one airplane here in central Illinois. Close to pollination time, I went out with tall flags and I zip tied them to the plants. And that was a learning process for me. How do I get the airplane lined up to where he can see the flag and spray that strip across the field? Today, I do things a little bit different. Today, I go out when this corn is knee high or a little bit less than that actually. And I go in with a motorcycle and I carry bamboo poles in the back of that motorcycle. And we go out, we drill holes in the ground, we place the bamboos, we zip tie the tall flags up above the corn and they last all season long. That way I can get the airplanes, the ground machines, and the helicopters in to spray those strips. Typically, these trials, I like to have them replicated at three times minimum, if not four, to get this done. You see the field today behind me is a full-size field scale field. So it's not a small plot. A lot goes into this. What about, what about like the data on the back end? So the data on the back end, how we do this, is we fly wide strips. So we're gonna fly this particular field as a 90-foot swath. We're going to come in with the 12 row corn head and the centers are going to be harvested for the yield data. And then I analyze that on the back side, and that's how the data makes it to the PFR book. Guys, we've really got to get this done. Let's get going. We? We don't know how to run that thing, but you do. You're going to learn. Fired up. I don't know how to run that thing. So what's special about these trials as well is we all run off the same water. I get the water from the airport. We've got a tender with us today that feeds the ground machine as well. So we're keeping that part consistent as well. I then pump the water out of my tote. It goes to my pump in the trailer and pumps my inductor full so I can mix. Here's the strips in this particular trial. Right now we are parked up here and we're going to fly the first one down here. Each individual strip is roughly almost five acres. It'll cover uh, about two strips. It'll come back for a refill and we'll go out and we'll do two more. Everything is automated. So I made this based off of my GPS points when we find the trial out. All I've got to do is mix, put the battery in and we're going to fly. I'm just awkwardly sitting in the background while he's working. Thinking like, we look like a bunch of idiots not doing anything. The drone we are using is a Helio Ares 150. This is a new drone to them, so this is actually one of their first drones they shipped out for testing. It's my first season with it. It runs atomizers or nozzles. Uh, today, we are going to run the atomizers. We did a trial recently where we compared the two. That data hopefully will make the book here yet this fall. So we're gonna drop the battery in here, and we're ready to take off.
All right, the drone is about ready to finish up. We're about three quarters of the way done with that application now. The ground machine will be here any minute. We'll fill him up. He'll follow right behind the drone. And then the airplane will get here. And it'll do the same exact thing. It'll be in and out here in about 10 minutes. And then we'll wrap the trial up. Of course, everything is compared back to an untreated control. First and foremost, we know if the fungicide application paid as a whole. Lastly, we know if a ground machine aerial application or a drone is in fact better in this field by itself. At the end of the year, we'll compare all fields back together, average them out, and we'll see if there's any winners with the applications. Historical data kind of tells, pick the application you're most comfortable with and stick with it. Okay, so a lot of these trials, I'm working with cooperators across Illinois, Missouri, some in Iowa. These guys are excellent. The guys I work with, they've been vetted. They're the right people to do this testing. We don't pay cooperators to do trials. We're also not paying for the fungicide in the ground machine or the drone. These are the guys that are wanting to learn for themselves. They're also helping you learn. They've done a good job of setting up their equipment. As far as the airplanes go, same way. I'm working with excellent aerial services throughout the states I work in. All the planes are helicopters. They've all been pattern tested, just like the drone behind me. We do the work to make sure everything's calibrated correctly before we even step foot in the field to do these trials. All right, Clayton, you got a lot going on, a lot of moving pieces here. We should probably let you get back to going. I'd love to. You have one more to do yet today, right? I do. Yeah, we definitely need to let you go. Guys, hopefully you got a lot out of this, right? Seeing the background of how much planning goes on from Clayton and everybody else that coordinates these trials, it's, it's crazy to see. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, like I said. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon so you get notifications when new videos are released. And we will see you again on another episode of The Dig. Yeah, do it.